the first time I have experienced something of this uh, magnitude where the entire world is battling uh, uh, something called uh, COVID-19, uh, which stands for Coronavirus Disease uh, 2019, because that's when it started. Uh, and uh, I think the whole world is gearing up for uh, fighting this particular thing. So in New Zealand, we were also uh, monitoring, uh, uh, you know, the situation quite closely, and the government uh, has been taking some uh, very proactive steps uh, to try and contain this um, uh, virus uh, because you know it seems to be uh, growing exponentially uh, at different places. And uh, I think uh, we in New Zealand are already afforded the um, luxury of being a an island nation. Uh, at the bottom of uh, the Pacific. Uh, and so in certain ways, I think we know we already have uh, some amount of a uh, natural uh, protection and a natural border, which doesn't allow uh, things to uh, permeate or spread uh, very quickly. Uh, but, you know, the, the, we, we all do live uh, in a, a modern age and modern era where uh, planes and jet flights can take you from one place to another very very quickly so so in that sense new zealand is probably not uh, immune but uh, you know uh, the geographic uh, uh, distance from the rest of the world does uh, offer a little bit of a uh, uh, cushion for us i guess you know for lack of a better word so uh, anyhow so the government has been tracking this quite carefully and um, i think we have all uh, we are all aware of i think of uh, the situation that evolved uh, first out of China, and then uh, I think the Iran became uh, quite a big epicenter, and of course it then moved to Europe and uh, Italy. I think uh, had uh, uh, a fair bit of uh, issue, and I think they're still battling with it. And possibly the government of New Zealand um, was studying the situation of how it spread to Europe and uh, how early preventive measures uh, could not arrest this particular virus in Italy. Uh, so I think they've learned from it and they're kind of uh, taking good, strong steps to uh, uh, arrest this and uh, help New Zealand and possibly the rest of the world as well. So uh, so a few days back, the government took a decision to let people into the country. Uh, and uh, uh, But as long as they were uh, going to self-isolate themselves for 14 days, uh, and so we did get uh, some of our uh, students and clients who were still able to get into New Zealand and then went into self-isolation. But uh, today evening, I was watching the news um, on our uh, national uh, channels and uh, the prime minister came live. And uh, so she said that uh, uh, effective tonight, uh, you know, we are at about 10.35 uh, p.m. in New Zealand. Uh, uh, today, but uh, I think effective tonight uh, from 11.59 p.m., which is, you know, uh, starting off uh, tomorrow, uh, the government has decided to shut the borders for all people who are going to come into New Zealand, uh, except for, I guess, you know, uh, partners and uh, children of New Zealand uh, citizen and citizens and uh, uh, residents. Uh, so that's uh, the little exception they've made. Earlier, they had an exception to make for people coming from the Pacific countries, but I think they've also clamped down on that as well uh, with uh, today's uh, announcement in the news from the Prime Minister. Uh, so that leaves a lot of people uh, in limbo. So everybody who's supposed to enter New Zealand on a, a temporary work, well, on a temporary visa, like a, a work visa or a student visa or a tourist visa, and any other kind of temporary visa is effectively not going to be allowed to enter New Zealand after 11.59 tonight. So, so for those people already on a plane and uh, entering New Zealand uh, before 11.59, they will be met by officials at the airport. And I guess uh, some level of testing would be done before they are uh, brought into the country, uh, allowed into the country. And uh, they will be, of course, asked to go into self-isolation. But anybody coming after 11.59, uh, which effectively is tomorrow, uh, which starts at midnight today, uh, they uh, will, are going to turn them away. And I'm, I'm sure the air traffic controllers have already sent these messages to 
all those flights which are on their way to New Zealand, but uh, will not arrive here before uh, midnight today. So, you know, I think, uh, so they will probably be asked to turn around and just get back, go back to their destination. So, or, or to, to the or origin destination. So I think that's what is gonna happen. So this does of course uh, leave a lot of our uh, clients in limbo uh, as to uh, what is going to happen to them. So I'm going to address uh, AGV clients uh, who are past, present, and future clients of AGV. Uh, and as a proactive, responsible company uh, who's always cared for all of you, uh, I want to give the message that I'm going to first talk about the past students who are already here, the present students who are you know, having their visa applications uh, being processed through us, and uh, future students you know, who haven't started their process, but I've had uh, uh, you know, uh, have made plans to come to New Zealand, uh, maybe in July or August or September, and yeah, I'm wondering, uh, do I still go ahead with my plans? Right, so let's first get to the past students. So those AJV students and clients who are already in New Zealand, I guess, you know, all you guys and girls uh, are already aware of all the measures that the government has instructed all of us uh, here in New Zealand to take. Uh, so please adhere to these uh, instructions. Uh, even if it's somebody who has already arrived into New Zealand as in, and is in self-isolation, please continue to uh, adhere to the instructions from the government. The government has uh, set up a special website called covid19.govt.nz, and that is one of the uh, most uh, authentic uh, sources of information for you as to what you need to do. And I already told in my last uh, session that uh, any uh, AJV student who has arrived uh, or client who has arrived and is in self-isolation, uh, just talk to us and we will gladly, gladly uh, lend whatever support we can to you, uh, even if it means that some of us have to come and leave food or medicines or other essential supplies outside your doorstep without jeopardizing your health or our health. We are happy to do that. We have kicked in and that is the advantage of uh, coming into New Zealand as an AGV client because we will give you that support. I don't care which remote part of New Zealand you are in. We will, uh, if you are in an emergency, call our 0800 number 0800-696977. And one of us, even if it means I have to drive the whole night and be there in your town and provide you with that uh, support, we will do that, okay? So that's for those who are already uh, uh, in New Zealand, which is the past. Now coming to the present. So there are some students and my team has specifically asked me to talk about, uh, you know, two of our students uh, who are on the verge of coming to New Zealand. Um, and uh, these uh, clients are uh, about to come to uh, a place called uh, uh, Auckland Institute of Studies. Uh, and so, yeah, so uh, these two students who had booked their tickets, unfortunately will not be able to uh, come into New Zealand now. Uh, just give me a moment, I'm gonna cross scroll up to uh, that part where uh, my team had uh, given me some uh, instructions about, okay, so this message is specifically for Karan uh, and Sakshi. Uh, Karan and Sakshi, I know you were, uh, uh you know looking at coming into new zealand uh on uh, i think both of you were booked to fly around the 22nd but unfortunately you will have to delay your plans now uh because uh uh the uh government has shut the borders so you will not be allowed to enter new zealand so karan and sakshi specifically coming straight from me please uh, cancel your tickets and hang in there and we will uh, talk to the institution and find out from them. So what is the, what's gonna happen next? And we will come back to you very, very quickly, but I can assure you, you will not be allowed to enter New Zealand at this point in time. So yeah, very unfortunate uh, Karan and Sakshi, but uh, both of you will have to cancel your tickets and do it uh, quickly so that you don't lose too much money on them. Uh, don't panic because you know, this is of course something that's beyond the control of the government of New Zealand or uh, the institution or AJV. So, you know, it's something, and I'm sure, you know, you're both uh, grown up and, uh, you know, uh, have the understanding 
uh, to know that this is something that went completely out of control, not because of any one single in department or company, but uh, you know, it's just something that spiraled out of control very, very quickly and very, very suddenly in New Zealand in the last 48 hours. Okay, so specifically for Sakshi and Karan, uh, hang in there, cancel your tickets, and tomorrow we will talk to AIS and ask them what are the next steps, and we will convey it back to you. And a lot of uh, institutions in New Zealand are considering to start online classes. So we will see how the situation in, uh, evolves. Of course, you know, uh, you guys and girls did not sign up to uh, uh, sit in your home countries and take online classes from New Zealand universities or institutions. You wanted to be in New Zealand and experience this beautiful country. So I completely understand that. And you had to pay a lot of uh, good money for, you know, like having that experience. But because of the current situation, around the world of course that's probably not a possibility so uh cancel your tickets sit tight hang in there going forward to the future students uh and the future students who are already in the process of applying for intakes in new zealand for april may june or july august september my suggestion to you is do not stop your process because at this point in time uh, we don't know when the cure is going to be there. We don't know when the vaccine is going to be there. It might happen very quickly. It might happen in a couple of months. It might take longer than that. Nobody is able to predict that uh, right now, including the World Health Organization. But just as somebody who has gone through a lot of experiences in life and just as the elder mentor to all of you, uh, I would like to tell you that, you know, do not change your plans uh, because, you know, nothing has changed for you. You're still in your country. You're still going on with your job and your life and, you know, with your family. All you're doing is sharing documents with uh, Team AJV and Team AJV. All of us are, uh, uh, you know, uh, thankfully we evolved this beautiful system where we don't have to meet you in person or we don't have to shut down offices. We are still able to function at 100% capacity. So you have absolutely nothing to uh, worry about. Continue your process. For all we know, something might... Uh, crop up as a solution and as a vaccine and as a cure over the next couple of months, which means you will still be prepared to come to New Zealand in the next uh, few uh, months. So do everything, prep yourself, give us all the documents. Let's get your visa application ready and wait to see how the situation evolves. And the moment they say, hey, look, all clear, good to go, we will launch those visa applications. I promise you we will not uh, ensure that we will ensure that you will not lose any money. So we will hope create your entire visa application. At the end of the day, we also need to uh, have work to do. So send us all your documents. There's no money you're spending. You're not paying anything to AJV. You're not paying any visa application fees to Immigration New Zealand. You're not giving any money to the institutions to uh, you know uh, give you your uh, offer letter. So because there is no money involved, it's just your time and effort continue to process continue to talk to your uh, ajv officers and we will get we'll bring it to a point where we are ready with your entire application and just waiting to lodge it the moment immigration new zealand tells us hey look it's all clear we are back to business as usual so that's my sincere advice to everybody and uh, then my team also asked me to uh, you know talk about a few other things like you know uh, Ruben wanted me to talk about the fact that uh, uh, Immigration New Zealand's Beijing, Mumbai and Manila offices are temporarily closed uh, and uh, INZ remains and you know the statement says that INZ remains committed to minimizing the impact on visa processing times and that's a fact because you know uh, INZ has got offices all around the world including here in New Zealand and I think they have a beautiful system where if uh, one particular office has to close down, you know, like uh, this unprecedented time of the coronavirus or COVID-19, uh, they are able to quickly transfer that load onto another office. So I don't think it's going to affect, you know, just as a precautionary measure uh, in countries where there is a slightly higher incidence of the virus, they are kind of shutting down those offices. So don't worry. INZ itself has said that there is no impact on the processing times. Uh, the other thing uh, that uh, Ruben wanted to touch upon was that INC cannot extend visa durations, visa fees or Levi's paid for uh, completed applications will not be refunded or deferred 
for another visa. You might withdraw an undecided application. Uh, again, as I said, this was a statement that uh, was made uh, before today's uh, uh, declaration of uh, uh, border closure. Uh, but you know, INC is a very understanding organization. I worked with them for more than 15 years now, and they're you know good people. They are they're kind people. They understand that you know situation has changed and if it means that refunds have to be affected they will refund so again my suggestion is to not withdraw your applications let it stay in the system and uh, uh, we will see how it can uh, uh, progress from there as a policy ajb has uh, ha will not charge anything from any of you uh, who are planning to you know uh, who are already in the process or uh, those of you who are planning to apply except for whatever fees that you got to pay to INC, which is not a lot in the bigger uh, scheme of things so just hang in there so the uh whether the flights are on the way to new zealand that all affected foreign travelers must have checked in for their flight to new zealand uh, by this time which is 23:59 on thursday 19th march uh, uh 2020 which is today uh, so as long as you had checked in before this time, you're good. I think you know they'll let you come and land in the country, and uh, officials will come and meet you. And you know probably a bit of testing will happen to ensure that you know there is no sickness being brought in. Possibly the last time that something like this happened must have been during the Second World War. So yeah, this is a very unprecedented time. So we'll all need to fight this uh, uh, together.